Congressman Buck, thank you very much for uh, joining us this evening. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Um, please tell us what's going on with the Freedom Caucus. Uh, I think you're one of the pioneers to that when it was formed. Is it getting bigger? Is it getting more influential? Are you guys fighting it out every day? Please tell us how that's going. Sure. Um, thanks. Uh, we are about the same size that we were when we started. So I was one of the founding members of the Freedom Caucus in 2015. We had around 35 members in 2015. We have around 35 members now. We, we uh, dropped a few. Uh, one or two may have, I, mean, I know one lost a primary. There may have been more than one. A few retired. Uh, one, uh, Marlon Stutzman in, in Indiana ran for the Senate and, and didn't win. So uh, there were a number of people that, that left. Um, and some of the freshman class uh, joined us. So we're, we're still around 35 uh, in number. Uh, the uh, numbers, uh, number of Republicans in the House decreased from 246. I think we're at 237 now with a few open seats that we uh, think that we'll win. So we'll be at 240, 241 um, in, in the near future. But uh, we have been, we've gone down in numbers. So uh, in terms of the leadership's ability to get to 218, which is uh, half plus one what they need to pass a bill, um, our influence uh, increased slightly because the number of Republicans went down. Um, but, but our numbers have not expanded. Um, I think the, the dynamic has changed dramatically. We now have a president of our own party. We are now not um, uh, the, the group that says no all the time. Now we're the group that says, yes, how do we get to be more conservative? How do we make this bill more conservative? So it is a much more constructive uh, process than it was before. Uh, it takes more thought, it takes more expertise, and, and I think it takes more patience. <laughs> 